Hello data scientist, welcome to Skillgate. In this video we shall build a gender detection model using CNN based deep learning end to end. During the course of this video I shall teach you how data scientists think while solving a problem of the scale and complexity by applying a lot of their human sense into what they build. I'm sure I have excited you enough, so let's get started. For those of you who don't know us, we are Skillkit and we are on a mission to bring you application based machine learning education. We launch new machine learning projects every month. So make sure to subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our free ML projects. All right, then let's get started. This is our problem solving framework. We'll go step by step through this to understand, solutionize and deliver on our project in hand. So let's start off with defining our objectives we wish to achieve with this gender detection model. Simply put, we wish to build a highly accurate gender detection model that takes human image as input and returns the gender which is male or female for the subject in the image. In this video, we shall focus on the technical aspects including coding for building a gender detection model. If you wish to further deep dive into the business application of gender detection, I would recommend you to go through our age, gender and emotion detection business project that we have done for a retail store client, enabling them to predict age, gender and emotion of all people that enter their store. We are making use of this gender detection model we shall build now into the age, gender and emotion detection business project that you see. Link to this is in the description part below. Now when we have clearly articulated our objectives, next up we need to find an adequate labeled data set for building model. For building our highly accurate gender detection model, we would be needing tons of labeled images for training. A lot of such labeled image data sets are readily available on the internet. Here's a crisp summary sheet on some of these publicly available data sets for your understanding. You may pause this video here and go through the sheet if you like. A word of caution here would be that not all of these data sets are available for commercial use. For real client implementation, you might need to spend more time in identifying or buying labeled data set that comes with a commercial use license. For our project, we shall use UTK faces dataset for building our gender detection model. UTK face is a large scale face dataset published in the year 2017. It covers a long age span across one to 116 years. Image labels are embedded in file names as per this nomenclature that you see. So we have age, gender and race separated by underscores. In terms of dataset size, we have 23,708 RGB images. If you are new to machine learning or recently started working with image data, I would highly recommend you to go through our face recognition project as well where we have used traditional machine learning to solve a relatively simpler com computer vision problem. Link to this is in the description part below. Do check it out if you are a beginner. All right, now let's sketch out a plan on building our gender detection model with CNN based deep learning. We already have around 24,000 images with us. We would need to extract gender labels embedded into these image file names. And to make our model fitting less computationally expensive, we would convert our images to grayscale as well. Next up, we would use CNN based deep learning approach for model building. Uh, CNNs are really well suited to handle image data and definitely we can expect a good accuracy coming our way with this. A word of caution here would be that training your own model would require a high-end machine with a GPU. You also have an option to use Google Colab Pro, which offers online infrastructure with a GPU on a paid basis. In this video, we shall be using Google Colab Pro for model building. 
So just to summarize, we have 23,708 images in our dataset UTK faces. We split that up into 75-25 training and test. Then on this training set of 17,781, we train our CNN model and validate performance on the test set, which is 5,927. Moving on, let's jump into the coding part of this gender detection model. Let's get coding. If you have already gone through our age, gender and emotion detection business project, you should be quite familiar with this free toolkit by now. Link to this toolkit is provided in the description part below. Over here, we have this 1.2 input output gender folder that has training data set in the input subfolder and model output files, including pre-trained gender detection model file in the output subfolder. This 2.2 is our code file for gender detection. Let's open it now to do a quick code walkthrough. All right, now we are in collab. As I told you before, you may require a GPU for building this model. I am already using Collab Pro as you can see over here. If you wish to subscribe to Collab Pro, just click on Tools, Settings, Collab Pro and Subscribe. You may avail their subscription for a month if you wish to build your own model. Otherwise, we will anyway provide you a gender detection pre-trained model in your free toolkit. In my case, I have a Collab Pro subscription. So let me quickly check if my runtime type is set to GPU. For this, I click on runtime, change runtime type, and I do see GPU selected along with high RAM. So we are good to go. Awesome. Let's connect to a runtime now. Now let's go section by section through this code file to see and understand what our code does. First up, we have our plan of action, wherein we have summarized everything we need to do as part of this gender detection model building. Next up, we mount our Google Drive like this. All right, drive is now mounted. Then we set our working directory. Up next, we do the import of all essential libraries and functions we are using. This next section is on importing our dataset. Over here, we are first declaring our dataset path. Then on this path, we are reading all images available one at a time with this for loop. Then inside the loop, we first separate the gender label embedded in the file name. Then we convert this image to grayscale and we resize all images to 100 by 100. And then we keep appending all image pixel data to this pixels numpy array and labels to this gender array. In these next couple of cells, we may check on the length of our two arrays, pixels and gender. This number is the total images we have in UTK faces dataset, the way we discussed a while back. Next up, we split our dataset into train and test. By default, uh, it is 7525, as is the case here. Again, with these uh, next couple of code cells, we may validate our numbers of train and test sets. Now we come to the critical part where we define our CNN architecture. Let me quickly take you through it. 
First up, we have an input 2D convolutional layer with 32 filters paired with an 2D max pooling layer. Then we have three pairs of 2D convolutional layers with 64, 128 and 256 filters respectively paired again with 2D max pooling layers. Then we have one dense layer with 128 nodes and finally an output dense layer with two nodes which are essentially our labels male or female. You may read more on CNN architecture following the link in the description part below. Next up, we are compiling the above defined CNN architecture in this next cell. We are also using model checkpoint for saving our model as it continues improving in performance across 30 epochs. So with this, essentially we are saving a model copy back to our Google Drive post every epoch that has accuracy improvement. Now we come to the model building part of this gender detection course. As I said, we are doing 30 epochs for model fitting. This cell might take decent time to run even with a GPU. These are the results you shall get for all epochs. Over here, as you may see, accuracy keeps improving across epochs as neural network keeps learning from the provided training dataset. Alright, congratulations to you for making it to this point. Your model should be ready at this point. Next up, we check for model performance. With these next couple of code cells, we are plotting these line plots for loss and accuracy. For training, we see accuracy keeps improving across the 30 epochs. Of course, there's further scope of improving model accuracy if you do more epochs or by using an even larger dataset with more variation in the images. Sky is the limit really. All right, with this, we come to the end of our gender detection code walkthrough. Our model file shall get stored in the output subfolder in the gender input output folder in your toolkit. Now let's talk about the business application of this model. We have already done a business case on eight gender and emotion detection for a retail store. I highly recommend you to go through it now to know how this model we just built could be used for a business application. Alright then, this completes our gender detection model building video. Hope you had fun all along. Do share your feedback or queries in the comment section below. We post new machine learning project videos every month. So make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now. Good luck to you. See you in the next video.